hey there everyone in this video we will try to learn about one to one relation and how we can implement this in prisma so for this we will need two tables so in this schema let's go ahead and create two tables so the idea is we will have one users table and one profiles table and it will say user may have a profile and profile must be linked to a user may have a single profile that's what one to one means so if one to one means like one table is related to another table and like only one record of one table can be linked to the one record of another table in the simple terms so let's first create these two tables so model user will have this primary key so let's copy it from here and we will have email which will be of type string and let's mark this as unique so like let's keep this user model simple and in the profile model we will say again say this same thing we will have id we will have name which will be of type string we will have let's suppose address which will be of type string and we will have phone number which will be of type string let's say now we have two tables user table and profile table so we want to link these two tables so in the profile table we will have a foreign key as a user id and it will be of type int so it is a foreign key so foreign key means it's the primary key of the table that we want to reference so user id here the value of the user id will be the primary key of this user table so that's what foreign key is like foreign key is the main concept how we link multiple tables in sql but how this how the prisma will know like user id references to this uh, user model so in order to do that we have to create one extra field which is user and the data type of this user will be the user model obviously and we'll annotate it with relations and in the relation we'll pass two things one is the field and one is reference so field is the field name of the foreign key which is the user id and in the references we will pass the primary key of the model that we are trying to reference so it is id so what it says is uh, user this user will be referenced to this user id and this user id is a foreign key that's why we have placed it in the fields and this user id will contain the value of this id field from the user model so that's we have we have given it in the id so like most of the orms type oran and maybe sqlize uh, try to do this in the same way but with a different syntax so that's how it uh, the two models are linked but here is the catch as of now the user model and the profile model are linked in a one to many fashion but we want to link them in a one to one fashion so we will mark this as as unique so this means the user id in this table profile table can have only one entry so this will impose a constraint of one to one relation so one user id can have only one profile that's this unique keyword is very important else it will be a one to many relation which we'll see in the next videos and in the reverse relation as well we will say profile and it will be of type profile and it will be nullable so that's how it works so just to summarize we have created two models one is the user model and one is the profile model and in order to link these we have this user id as a foreign key and which will be unique because if we will not place this unique annotation it will be a one to many relation so we want to impose the one to one constraint that's why we have put unique and how this prisma will know like user id is a reference to this user table is with, through user key now prisma does not create this user as a column in the database it uses it for its internal reference only so once we like run the command npx prisma migrate dev and let's get to give it a name create user profile table so let's wait for this and now it succeeded let's go into the database try to hit uh, reload and uh, 
maybe let's uh, go to the home okay okay as of now it's showing only two things i guess it's not reloaded but if we go into the database here and hit refresh you can see the two tables here profile table and the user table so in the profile table you can see that user id is there but user no is not there so prisma uses this uh, user field for its internal reference to link this user id to this user model i hope you got my point so things will be more clear when we will try to do some operations on these tables in the upcoming videos so in the next video we will try to insert data in this user and profile table so see you in the next video go ahead and perform some operation on the tables that we just created when which is the user table and the profile table so what i have done is i have created three routes one is the users route which will be used to create a user one is the profile route which will be used to create a profile and then one is a get route to fetch the user so in order to create the user it will be a simple stuff like the way we discussed in the create section so just try to pause the video and try to do this on your own our data you will be receiving in the body so just call the create function and do this hope you uh, were able to do that now let's try to do this together so which will be const user is equal to await prisma dot user dot create and inside this create will pass data as quiz dot body so and we'll say response dot json and we'll say user <clears throat> now let's go to the postman and try to hit the routes let's rearrange this okay so i will say local host this and change this to users it will be a post route and inside the body we will pass the json and json will be email test1 at test.com let's hit send you can see that it has created one user so now in the prisma studio you can hit the refresh and see that we have this user and with user id1 now let's go ahead and try to create the profile so in order to create the profile uh, just give me a second profile i guess the best route will be like it's not the best route slash profiles obviously you can do that but the best practice is to say something like this user colon id so we it will be users so users of this id i want to create the profile on this user so i hope you got it so it will be a three step process so first fetch the user second will be construct the data and uh, third will be to create a profile so let's try to do all these three steps so in fetch the user you will say const user is equal to await prisma dot user dot find first or through and uh, we'll say find unique not first because first is are uh, used when you have like multiple records of same ids then we'll say okay uh, give me the first record which matches this id but unique is like you have to fetch because id is a unique obviously it's a primary key so it has only one record so we will be calling unique here so find unique or throw so it will throw an exception if the user is not found and we will say where id is request dot params dot id and we will add plus here to type cast this to number so first step is done the second step is construct the data so const data is equal to first we will like uh, spread all the data which is coming from body and then we will append user id to that data user id which will be of type user dot id so this is the data so we have uh, destructured the data we have we want to create construct a new object so 
first we have destructured all the data that is coming in the body and then we have added an extra key which is the user id in order to like link the profile to a user so data is constructed now finally we will create a profile which will be const profile is equal to await prisma dot profile dot create and inside this create we will pass data so in this way like you can pass data as a key and data as a value you can do something like this as well but this is a shorthand if uh, the key and the value are of same name so let's send the response response dot json and it will be profile now go to the postman create a separate route for this localhost and we'll say users1 and we'll say profiles and inside the body we will pass the json we have couple of fields here name we will say test1 we'll say address so your address of user1 we have phone number we'll say phone number let's give some dummy values uh, i'm not sure if i am naming the keys right so it's p n o and a d d r okay now it's right so let's hit send it will be a post route let's hit send and you can see that profile is created and if you go into the database or in the prisma studio where is the prisma studio okay here and try to refresh this you can see that now it has a linked profile to this and if you click this you will see that name address phone number is there and if you want to see the representation in the database you go into the profile hit refresh you can see that there is a profile which is linked to this user id one so that's how it works now try to fetch this user that we have just created so in order to fetch the user first we will get the id in the params it will be a simple stuff like we saw in how to read the data from prisma lecture so we will say user is equal to await prisma dot user dot find unique or through and inside this we will say where id colon request dot params dot id and let's send this response to front end user now let's hit send okay we have this let's rename this to users i want to fetch the user id one let's hit send you can see that it has fetched the user but you will notice that it still does not have this profile field so in order to include that profile field we have to pass an extra key here which will be include because profile is not the part of this model it's a part of another model other table so we have to uh, explicitly tell prisma to include that profile so include we will pass which field we want to include and we will say true so include this field and this field is coming from here so yeah this field so we'll say include true so now prisma we will perform some joins on these two tables and try to fetch the profile now if you go ahead and hit send you can see that profile is there so that's how one to one relation works so from the next video we will see how to establish one to many relations and perform some operations there so see you in the next lecture couple of operations on these two tables the user table and the profile table so first like first like try to validate the one to one relation so as of now uh, we have the profile associated to user 1 so let's try to create a duplicate profile so i'll hit this request with same request with all the data and user 1 and let's try to hit send and you can see that it crashed and if you go into the console and see why it crashed is because it says unique constraint failed on constraint profile user id key so what i am trying to do here is i want to insert another row with the same user id but since there is a constraint on this user id which is a unique constraint so it's telling the table in this table there can be millions of rows but this use 
user three or user one can only have one row. So I hope you got my point. So that ensures one to one relation on user and profile. So now you got my point like what I was trying to uh, tell you in the earlier lectures. So it will not allow database to create duplicate rows with the duplicate user IDs. So that's how it works. As of now, like the application is crashing, but we have some better ways of dealing with these things and uh, a better ways of error handling, which you will obviously see in the project section we will, where we will implement the project using TypeScript. Where there we like define the custom classes using all sort of types and all these things. So don't worry about that. Now the second thing is what we, what I want to do is as of now I have created a couple of users here and a few users have profiles to it. So user with ID one and three have profiles to it and users with ID two and four don't have profiles to it. So I want to fetch the list of all the users that don't have profile so that on the front end we can show the message something like uh, your profile is incomplete, please complete your profile, something like that you have seen on this, this on like various websites. So let's try to do this. Uh, so what I will do is I will modify this route only. Don't worry, like I will uh, provide all the snippets and the resources of this section. So I'll remove this ID here. So how we will do this is like you can go ahead and try this on your own. Try to read the documentation and see how you can do that. Uh, let me show you uh, how to do that. So const users is equal to await prisma dot user dot we'll use find many because we want to fetch multiple rows and in the where clause we will say profile null. So fetch all the users where the profile is null and we'll say response dot json and let's return all the users. Now see, let's see this, we'll remove this and hit send. You can see that the ID two and four is there. So ID two and four do not, do not have any profile linked to them. So as you can see in the profile, we have ID one and three, but two and three are not there. So the next, obviously the next question can be fetch all the users that have profile associated to them. So how you will do this is we will use an extra operator here. So profile, we will say is not null. So earlier we were saying like fetch all the profiles that were null but now we are saying profile is not null. So is not is a reserved keyword in Prisma. You can read more about this. I'll show you where you can find this in the documentation. So now let's see this. Hit send. You can see that we have ID 1 and 3. Obviously you want to include the profile as well. So just go ahead and include profile true. Now let's hit send you can see that profile is also fetched. So that's how like you can perform a couple of operations here. Now if you go into the documentation uh, in the CRUD and not in the CRUD, you can go into the schema, Prisma schema. So in, inside this, sorry, uh, inside this uh, concepts, you will have this Prisma schema and there you have relations. So in the one-to-one -one relations, you can read all about this how to perform one-to-one -one relations. Give it a read, It's a, it will be a good read and you will get to know a lot about one-to-one -one relations. So finally in the next lecture, you will see how one-to-many relation works.